Oh, hello. I should be doing an intro or something, shouldn't I? I'm a bit rusty, it's been a while. Um, anyway, uh, So then, I guess I'd better get on with the actual photography. I'm at Wilmington. This is the long man of Wilmington, East Sussex. I'm in East Sussex. Now, I've tried to take photos on the South Downs before. And the trouble is that in many places, it's a single peak, if you like. So if you go to visit the South Downs, the most picturesque thing is the thing that you're on. So that presents a problem for the photographer. Gatwick's over that way, uh, Brighton's over this way, Lewis is just over there, Eastbourne's over that way, so I suppose London is sort of in that direction. The challenge is composition, because there are a few places on the Downs, and I don't know them as well as I should do really, for someone that's lived down here as long as I have, where the site you can see the side of the downs and so that gives you sort of i don't know a leading line a framing reference something it gives you something of interest to look at in the in the mid ground or in the um in the distance but foreground interest is very difficult here and to be honest these sorts of things are a bit of a distraction so it looks great it's by the way it's a, it's a bit of a mystery why it exists it's um it was people think that it was originally um just sort of pressed into the grass and now it's got chalk lines on it which get topped up because it's a, a local landmark um, but uh, it doesn't really interest me that much as a photography subject so I'm going to try and find something that does I'm just sort of trying to get a feel for where I am because I think I need to try and compress some of the detail here. So I think I need to switch to the 70 to 300 lens, which isn't a particularly good lens, but nonetheless, that's what I'm gonna go for. Bear with me. I'm forcing my perspective to change by moving over to this lens. It's in no way similar to the way I see the, the locale. Um, so we'll see what we can get. something involving this this, this uh, gatepost I quite like this now I like that shot but there's nothing leading you in to the gate in the shot as I've taken it there is something leading into the gate which is why I'm walking closer to you now because the, the path leads up to it works thing. I've just moved about only about 50 meters up the path but just moving just that little distance has changed the perspective of the entire valley actually because from here I can get a shot of one two three four or five hills sort of rolling into one another. What is spoiling it just a little bit for me is that there is a single gate over here um, separating the fields from the road and there's a car that's parked exactly where that fence is which is quite annoying it's 
exactly as I said that, the car has moved away. How strange. So the shots that you're going to see after this are the, just the ones that I've taken as I'm hand-holding on my way back to the car, which is only about half a mile away. So I, I always tell people off for saying goodbye and then having a bit more content in their videos because it means that people are going to switch off, but um, I'm not going to talk again after this. I'm just going to show you whatever shots I get. So thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. It's been a long time since I've posted a, a video with any kind of regularity. Let me know what you think of the images. And um, hope to see you again soon.